கருணாலயம் நமாமி பகவத்பாதம் சங்கரம் லோகசங்கரம் கண்டினியூ வித் டீச்சிங் ஆஃப் மதுவித்யா ஆர் ஹனி ஆஃப் லைஃப் by Shri Atharuna Rishi to his disciples Ashwini Devata Yesterday we discussed how Brahman whose nature is pure consciousness awareness appeared as many living beings and non-living beings and entered to the entering world So now going further ரூபம் ரூபம் பிரதிரூபோ பபுவா நாட் ஓன்லி ஹி தி ஃபார்ம்ஸ் மெனிஃபெஸ்டட் ஹி என்டர் ஹி ஆர் தட் பிரம்மன் விச் இஸ் நதிங் பட் பியூர் கான்ஷியஸ்னஸ் அவேர்னஸ் என்டர்ட் இன் டு ஆல் ஆஃப் தெம் ஓகே என்டர்ட் இன் டு ஆல் ஆஃப் தெம் டு சச் அன் எக்ஸ்டென்ட் தட் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் யுவர் ஃபார்ம் இஸ் கிரியேட்டிங் ஃப்ரம் ஹெட் டு நெயில் ஃப்ரம் hair to nail every aspect of you is pervaded by that universal consciousness brahman okay so we use the two different words here when we speak of para brahma or supreme reality where there is no duality at all we use the word awareness okay and when that awareness manifests as in the universe the same awareness we call as universal consciousness the consciousness word and awareness word even though both mean same thing for the purpose of reducing confusion when i am referring what when i am referring to para brahma or absolute reality i use the word awareness when i use the word relative reality where the same absolute reality is manifesting as the world i use it as the universal consciousness okay the consciousness only is the word but consciousness when you i use the word uh, refer to it as absolute reality where there is no duality at all then i call it as awareness when there is a duality when there is a manifestation then i call it as consciousness just to distinguish two terms para brahma is awareness and existence also you are using this uh, existence consciousness and bliss they cannot be separated out they are they are one name for Uh, there are three names for the same end, same reality okay so i may use para brahma as absolute reality or i may use para brahma as awareness or i may use the word pure consciousness for para brahma or pure existence also mean same thing okay when para brahma takes the role for the creation then i then he is called ishwara or the lord for ishwara i use the word universal consciousness okay what is consciousness then the question comes what is consciousness what do you mean by consciousness how do you define consciousness consciousness is the knowing principle knowing principle okay the knowing principle is called awareness the knowing principle or tatva awareness is non dual absolute non duality there is no other there is no two awareness okay it is a knowing principle so there is no second second knowing principle there is no other knowing principle only one knowing principle is there and that's what you are okay you are you means when you say you in essence what you are essential nature of you is that knowing principle which is awareness essential nature of you is that existence which is awareness which is bliss why we call it bliss because from awareness point of view there is no other the stress is only when the other is there when anything else is there so because there is no other there is bliss it is to use the word infinite also is meaningless there all that i say is there is no limitation ananta 
ananda there is no limitation because there is no nothing else which which comes in the awareness in the absolute nature and that's what you are okay that's what your essential nature is that i call as pure consciousness okay pure consciousness we can take a look uh, we can consider like water water okay water appears as ocean and what we ocean appears as waves collection of waves so similarly the pure consciousness or para brahma appears as universal consciousness or ishwara which is ocean the ocean is nothing but a collection of waves big wave small wave similarly ishwara is a collection of individual living beings non living beings mountain valley the sky sky and everything is the analogy clear so all are made up of the same stuff called water similarly the ocean the water and the wave they are made up of the same ingredient or stuff called water so in other words everything in the universe is nothing but consciousness everything in the universe is nothing but consciousness okay so there's nothing called matter what you see as matter all this matter really doesn't matter okay <laughs> because it is just an appearance temporary appearance of consciousness it is like in your dream you got 5 crore rupees a lottery you saw the lot of money and you went and purchased a ticket and you went to foreign tour and what all you did with that money when you wake up none of them is relevant they were all temporary forms of appearance of appearance in your mind temporary appearance okay temporary appearance in your mind it has no existence in reality it is a appearance okay everything what we see in the world as matter is a temporary appearance of consciousness temporary appearance in consciousness and temporary appearance of consciousness okay so the temporary appearance is called mithya unreal anitya because it is temporary okay mithya because it is appearance because there is no matter actually there is only consciousness so everything in the world is consciousness consciousness being a pure subject or pure knowing the con the presence of the consciousness can can be felt only when there is an object in that a reflecting surface i give an example the outer space in the outer space sun is there but you cannot see light in the deeper space because there's no reflecting surface there's no dust particle if you put a mirror you can see it they say some reflecting surface is there is it's all darkness similarly consciousness without object is not its presence cannot be felt determined it cannot be and consciousness is the only reality which is there when only reality is there okay you will never know uh, no not you the consciousness itself has nothing to know because if there is thing only it can be known its presence can be felt it's a knowing principle but that for the knowing principle there is nothing to know okay 
So that's why in that knowing principle called consciousness, concepts arise. Like wave and ocean arise in water, concepts arise. And everything is temporary concept, appears and disappears, appears and disappears. That I can call as thoughts or the mind. Okay, please don't get confused by the words mind, thoughts, universal consciousness. Ultimately, it is one reality only called consciousness. One reality called consciousness only. Okay. Don't be enamored by the words we use. So, the absolute reality which is awareness, which is pure, uh, our pure consciousness, pure existence, appears as the Ishwara or the Lord for the creation purpose. Okay. Why I use the word appears as? Because it's not a permanent reality. It's an appearance, temporary reality. Okay. Now, who is Ishwara? Again, we start imagining something. The Ishwara is the self-awareness. Self-awareness arises. When there is a thought that there is something else other than me, a concept that there is something other than me, the self-awareness comes into picture in pure conscious awareness. Awareness is only there. Okay, it's not aware of itself. When it becomes aware of something else, it becomes aware of itself. Awareness alone is. Okay. Awareness is not aware of itself because there's nothing to be aware of. When the moment there is something else, it becomes aware of itself. That awareness is called Ishwa. Okay. The Ishwara is pure awareness or Parabrahma who is not even aware of presence and absence of anything. That's why he is not even self-aware. Even though he is of nature of awareness, becomes self-aware in the presence of other things. So there is a concept, there is something else. This is a concept is not a reality because there's nothing, there can be anything else. There can be anything else other than Parabrahma. It's only conceptual reality, not a not substantial reality. Because it's a conceptual reality, it's called Maya. Maya means Yama Iti Maya. So at this level, you can think it's only like a blueprint of creation, an idea. Oh, there's something. What is that something? It's yet to come. Okay. So, if you have to recognize Ishwara, recognize that I am principal in you, that's Ishwara. Okay? You have I am feeling. Okay? I am feeling appears and disappears. I am feeling appears and disappears. This thought. But I am feeling is appearing in the presence of the consciousness. The I in the I am feeling is pointing to the consciousness. I am in the I am feeling is pointing to the presence or existence. Any name points to something now. When I say the book, it is pointing to a book. When you say I am, what is it pointing to? It is pointing to, I is pointing to consciousness which cannot be seen, am is pointing to existence which cannot be seen. Okay? Because Parabrahma as pure awareness, existence consciousness cannot be seen. It is no form. But it is pointing, it is a pointer. I am is always a pointer to a reality. Right? Now it is saying pure I am. The pure I am is called Ishwara. So the pure I am has many more concepts. Okay, it will create. Keeps on creating many more forms. Right? And what is the stuff it is made up of? The forms are made up of? 
the basic stuff is which forms are made up of is nothing but consciousness there's can there's no other thing the material is consciousness only so pure awareness or pure pure consciousness has taken the form of universal consciousness universal consciousness has taken the form of object consciousness so there is mountain when i use the word mountain it appears to be material i have to use the right word to use is mountain consciousness okay the consciousness aspect we are ignoring when we are dealing with the object that's why it's my when i see flower the flower consciousness is there the same universal consciousness manifests as subject consciousness and object consciousness subject means experience which you and object means experienced subject consciousness and object consciousness is manifest so when this is a flower this is a flower consciousness when you see the star this is a star consciousness when you see the cosmos cosmic consciousness is there when you see the sun sun consciousness is there okay so i have used the word consciousness in the relative domain manifest domain whereas awareness in the absolute domain both is ultimately awareness only okay only to distinguish the domain of maya from the domain of absolute reality so what has happened to the awareness in this whole process has awareness got affected there is no change in the awareness the water appears as ocean and as a wave water appears as ocean and a wave but nothing happens to water similarly para brahma is never 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 changing reality it doesn't run the whole chain in changes so when you speak okay i am going i am meeting i was in bombay i am in hyderabad i will be in america so in that all these words you are using the word i am it's a word it's a thought the thought is pointing to something which is unchanging who went to america i who was there 30 years back i oh my dear your i has not changed i see so much of changes uh, you are slim that time okay now you seem to be at least double size your body has changed your mind has changed okay your intellect has changed everything which i know about you has changed but you say i has not changed what do you mean by that when you use the word i am you are correctly using the word i am you are pointing the i to something which is unchanging <laughs> which you know all the time <laughs> but all the time you confuse it in the body are you able to understand this the vedanta is there only to remove the confusion which you are <laughs> mixing up <laughs> the changing reality with the unchanging reality you are mixing up vedanta helps you only to bring the clarity about this vedanta doesn't do anything more than that every time when you are speaking of i am you are speaking of the god's name unchanging reality is god which is parabrahma which is not able to see but the moment you speak that you mix it up with the body <coughs> okay which is mind which is changing body and mind right the i am is always the pure subjectivity the i am not speaking of i am thought i am thought appears and disappears i am world appears and disappears but i am thought i am world is pointing to something which is reality which doesn't change right so everything in the world is consciousness there is a subject consciousness object conscious everything is appearance in consciousness clear 
So there are two aspects of appearance in consciousness. One is changing aspect and another change is unchanging aspect. Okay. What is this changing aspect of consciousness and what is unchanging aspect of consciousness is what we understand.